I thank the member for Jagger Jagger and I call the member for Chisholm. Thank you, Mr. Deputy Speaker. As a woman who worked while raising two wonderful children, I understand the burden of juggling both professional life and family. I understand how it must have been for many Victorian women who had to juggle work responsibilities and home schooling during the height of the COVID pandemic. Thankfully, though, Mr. Deputy Speaker, many of our frontline working mothers, the doctors, nurses, police and carers, were still able to access the key childcare support they needed to keep Australia safe. The Morrison government invested $3 billion into early childhood support and care during COVID-19 so that the families who needed care the most could get it. And it worked. We saw childcare attendance rebound by mid-December with a 7% increase from pre-COVID levels and a 3.5% increase from 2019 figures. 93% of surveyed parents could access all the childcare they needed in November 2020, and now quality, affordable childcare is available for families due to the continued efforts of the Morrison government. The government I'm proud to be a part of has a proven track record of delivering affordable childcare year in, year out. The average out-of-pocket cost is less than $4 an hour, bringing the cost down considerably. More than a quarter of families also pay less than $2 an hour out-of-pocket. Our childcare has become more accessible for those who need it, bringing the families of an additional 280,000 children solely needed financial relief. The Morrison government recognises the tangible link between affordable childcare and women's workforce participation. The Morrison government's childcare subsidy is supporting women's workforce participation to a record 61.8%. This government's commitment to family extends into the 2021-22 budget too. As part of the Treasurer's budget announcement last night, our government will deliver an additional $1.7 billion to help Australian families with the cost of childcare and further encourage workforce participation. This budget will put more money back in the families' pockets and lower disincentives for parents to return to work or take an extra additional hours, particularly for women. Treasury estimates this measure will boost the level of GDP by up to $1.5 billion a year, ensuring Australia remains on track to continue delivering a stronger post-COVID economy in a time where many other countries are struggling to do the same. We are doing this by increasing the subsidy for second and subsequent children aged five and under attending childcare. With the Morrison government's new measure in place, around three quarters of subsidies will go to families earning under $150,000 in 2022 to 23. Labor's bloated inefficient policy doesn't hold a bar to the targeted and measured support plan the Morrison government has delivered in the past and is committed to delivering throughout the future. When Labor was in government, childcare fees went up by 53% including a one-year spike of 14.5%. During this time, women's workforce participation was still lower than what our government has been able to deliver. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, 
the Morrison government understands the needs of families, and we are delivering. Thank you. Thank you,